Good morning. It is an absolute pleasure to be here this morning with all of you. My name is Joe Ricca, I'm the superintendent of schools in the White Plains City School District. And on behalf of the Board of Education and everybody in our educational community, I want to start out this morning by saying thank you to all of our women and men who have dedicated their time, their energy, and a good portion of their lives, and in some cases, their lives, to the defense of the United States of America. Here at White Plains, we take our patriotism very seriously. We also recognize and reflect on the honor and sacrifice that only 1%, just about 1% of United States citizens join military service. Now, last year at graduation, for the first time in a long time, I remember seeing many, many young men and women walking across the stage with insignia in recognition of their plans to join the service. This is an honorable choice, but more, it is the choice that continues to demonstrate that one of the most important responsibilities that we have as citizens and community members is to recognize our own responsibility to the furtherance and support of our nation. Tomorrow, we honor our veterans. Today, we begin that honor and celebration here at Eastview, as we have for many years. I want all of us to remember that no matter what our contribution is, whether it be community service, whether it be volunteering in our churches or places of worship, whether it be helping somebody who, who just needs a hand. Whatever we do makes a positive impact. And the men and women that we're celebrating today have made an extraordinary impact over time. So thank you very much for being here this morning. To our veterans, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for everything that you have given us because of you, we can be here today.
morning, everyone. I'm Tom Brooks from Air to City White Plains. My pleasure to meet you here today. I spent a lot of time in this room. I had two boys come through here. You can tell us all about White Plains, all the music program, the great students. That's the island up there, still doing it. She, two more players came out of here. Um, and one of them was playing a concert with a rock and roll band tonight. And it's a long time, so it really worked out. Um, I want to point out to everyone who's in the first of all, thank you to our veterans over here for your service. Let's have a round of applause for them.
Rule number one officially ended on June 28, 1919 in the town of Versailles, France. However, fighting ceased seven months earlier when the armistice went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. On November 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of armistice. If the idealistic hope had been realized that World War I was the war to end all wars, then November 11th might still be called Armistice Day. But only a few years after the holiday was proclaimed, war broke out in Europe. For many years, this important day was called Armistice Day. But in 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower changed the name to Veterans Day so that we may honor all veterans. It is due to honor to welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Bernard Jones, to our school today. Mr. Jones has been a member of the White Plains community for the past five years. He is a third grade teacher at MAS, an assistant varsity football coach, and a wrestling coach at White Plains High School, and a martial arts instructor at Total Form and Fitness Geo Club. Mr. Jones is a graduate of Norwich University, the military college of Vermont. Norwich is the oldest private military college in the nation and the birthplace of ROTC. Upon graduation, Mr. Jones served in the 86th Infantry Brigade Combat Team with the 1st and 102nd Infantry. Mr. Jones is a proud graduate of the Army Combat Engineer School, the Army Infantry School, and the Army Mountain Warfare School. Please welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Bernard Jones. These two students, faculty, staff, friends, and fellow veterans. Thank you for that warm welcome. It is my honor to be here to celebrate and observe Veterans Day with you all. I want to start by thanking Mr. Hanmans for putting together such a thoughtful and respectful presentation year after year. This is my second Veterans Day celebration at Eastview, and once again, I am thoroughly impressed with all the moving parts and the amount of work that has clearly gone into everything. So thank you to everyone that helped put together another awesome event. Another awesome event. We are all fortunate to be part of such a supportive and caring community. While White Plains is not my home, it is where I spend the vast majority of my time. Over the last month, I have met a number of local veterans, two of which have students that attend Eastview. They are both with us today. Jason Martinez served in the Marine Corps. You all know his son, Mateo. And we have Jim Guerin, who served in the Air Force. And his son, Patrick, was actually the student that just introduced me. So. So I want to personally uh, thank Jason and Jim for coming today to make our celebration even more special. At this time, I'd like to invite Jim to come up and read the oath that all service members take upon entering the military. Good morning, my name is Jim Jarrett. I'm a former member of the United States Air Force. I'm probably an old lady, a teacher. We'll take an oath in the name of service to serve our country. The military oath of the U.S. I do. I only swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Crusade. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. I have a poster that I keep in my house and it reminds me of what it is to be a veteran. It says a veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, is someone who, at one point in his life, wrote a blank check being payable to the United States of America for an amount of up to and including his life. That is honor. And there are way too many people in the country today that no longer understand that fact. As you 
gather around your Thanksgiving table this year, remember to give thanks to our troops fighting to keep us safe. May God watch over them and keep them safe. God bless you all. Thank you. You do not have to join the military to do this. 
Americans can say thank you by taking full advantage of all your rights and freedoms that have been defended. If we want to preserve our freedoms, we must put them into action. I know most of you in attendance are in sixth grade, but remember, you can always volunteer your time to help your community. And as you get older, vote in every election. Fulfill your jury duty. Be a volunteer firefighter or EMT. Mentor an underclassman. Represent your country while abroad. Register for selective service, and yes, maybe consider serving in the military. Live your lives, enjoy our freedoms, and be good Americans. Then all veterans will be proud to know that their sacrifices were not in vain. I want to conclude by saying, Veterans Day isn't just for veterans. It's a day for all Americans. It's a day to remember why they were fighting, and a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. Thank you for honoring our veterans today. Let us walk toward tomorrow, still honoring them, by living the freedom that our veterans have protected. God bless you all, and God bless America. For over 10 years, our school has honored our veterans. We celebrate and honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good of our nation. To our veterans, as a proud veteran myself, like you, I believe in the bond and cohesive shared experience and belief in the spirit decor that lives in the heart and minds of all of us who have served. Valiantly, you have stood to serve our nation, and we too stand as we salute you for your bravery and your courage. Our school video is an appreciation of your service. Thank you and enjoy.
fight for you and me to protect our country on foreign land they make their stand in the name of freedom so let's show our love to the warriors
who was also honored as our keynote speaker at our Veterans Day program in 2019. Lieutenant Stogel is currently stationed in the African country of Kenya. Thank you in advance to those who will donate to our soldier. We are hopeful to collect many items that will be mailed to First Lieutenant Stogel and his squad.
the members of the White Plains Board of Education, parents and families. Thank you to White Plains Mayor Roach. Thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Rivera. Thank you to our principal, Mr. Dixon, and our assistant principal, Mrs. Lasser. Thank you once again to our honored guest and speaker, Mr. Burton Jones. Thank you to all the students and teachers who are involved in today's program. We would most especially like to thank our veterans for being here today. If you are a veteran of the American Armed Forces, could you please stand so that we may recognize you at this time. Yeah.